Hey guys, it's Cam Angel Dream Crafts, and yes, there is a lot of stuff on my desk, but I have a reason for that. Um, I wanted to show you guys how I make some of my mixed media type of paper. If I have some paper in my stash that I, you know, not particularly fond of, or just if I feel like it, um, I change it, and then I die cut pieces out of it. So. I wanted to do a bit of die cutting today and a bit of mixed media, so that's what all of this is. So I've got some various papers here. This is actually um, a Tim Holtz paper, and I forget the name of it. These are just some scraps. And then I've got this really cool Lawn Fawn paper. I've never even used it. It's called Watercolor, and I actually do like it. but. I thought I was just going to straight do some die cutting today, and then I decided, no, you know what? I want to use this die from Prima, which is the flower die, and um, but I want to change the look of the paper to make these flowers look like more mixed media. So, and then I can use them on cards and stuff like that. So that's why I have all this stuff out. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do that. And I've also got some stamps here. I love this one. Who's this by? This is by Ruby Violet by Yuki. Oh, it's Prima. I love that stamp set. And then I have this Stampendous one. It says Make Art. And of course the Diane Reevely one here by Ranger. Dilutions. And it's got all these cool faces and flowers and things. And then it comes with a stencil as well. That was a gift to me. And then I've got two of my old faithful script stamps. And then I have these two wooden stamps for my stash. I think these were from Michael's. Oh no, they're Hero Arts. I probably got these on Blitzy. So that's the stamps and the die. Um, and I want to say that this was totally inspired by my crafty bestie, Miss Amy Love, yesterday because she was making note cards. And I thought, oh, I need to do that. So, you know, the mind starts turning and this is where I, the direction I went in. So I'm going to start off by doing the first layer. And I think we'll do this piece here because why not? And I'm going to just zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's happening. And hopefully that's okay. Yes, I know there's lots of stuff here. but um, Let me see if I adjust it. Is it any better there? That's pretty good. So, first things first, I'm going to give it a little coating with some Prima paint. And this one is called uh, Pink Blush. Again, this is one of my favorite paints, but I do have some others here. So I'm just going to, and there's enough in the lid here, I'm just going to kind of dry brush in spots. And I put my, my mat down because I don't want to wreck my new mat that I have underneath it there. And I am just, there is no rhyme or reason to any of this. And that's probably enough pink. So you just kind of put it all over the place. I'll put the lid back on that. And you can see it's just pink and very pearly now. <clears throat> so what should we do next? Let's make sure we don't have any other things on here. I have this Martha Stewart paint. It is called Beach Glass. Another favorite. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit, well that wasn't really a tiny bit, but anyway, we'll use it up. Take some of it off my brush. And I'm not drying the paint in between because I'm okay if it mixes together, it'll just make it really pretty. And again, I'm just kind of going over different spots. Because remember, the end result is not going to be this paper. It's going to be the flowers I die cut out of it. So make sure to get the edges too, because I want to get as many flowers as I can out of this piece. 
And I think this time I will use the heat gun on this. Maybe. Okay. So you may want to mute now because I'm using the Beastie heat gun and it's really loud. This is my old one. So you may want to mute for this part. We're just going to quickly dry this before we go on to the next step. Doesn't take long. That'll do. Okay. So now I think what I want to do, and let me just show you a little close up there, because I know the sun is coming in here, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can still see the background paper, which is good. Um, so I think I'm going to do some spraying. We'll use this one. This is um, Color Bloom by Prima, and this one's called Peony. I like this one, so we're just going to... That's bright. <laughs> Let it drip. And normally I do dry in between these layers because otherwise you will end up with mud if you don't dry. So, yeah. trying to get it to run the opposite direction. And I think I will put that paint back in that container. So let me just put this away in here. I don't want it to dry. I don't have a ton of this left, so let me just put this back in here. Do not waste it. Okay. All right, so there's where we're at right now. I think I'm going to move some of these over here because they're kind of in the way a little bit. I think maybe a little tiny bit of yellow would be nice here now too, just to brighten it up. So let's, this one is called Pure Sunshine, because it is. And probably there's enough in the lid, yes there is. So I'm just gonna take a very tiny bit of this because this is super bright. And I really don't want a lot of green. I want it to kind of stay yellow. I go in a couple of different directions, um, remembering your edges too. You can do circles. Let's do some circles. Stuff like this I just find so freeing, like creatively free um, because you're just doing anything you like and you're going to die cut this out and you'll be amazed how cool this looks after it's die cut. It's really awesome. There we go. Now I have little dots. We like little dots. Hopefully I can get the lid back on right. Yep, yeah, there we go. And again, sorry for the heat gun, but for this type of tutorial you end up using it a lot so let's try that it doesn't take too long if you put on a really light coat it won't take long to dry
there we go so now at this point i think i'm just going to put maybe i don't know a metallic what do we have what do we have do i have hmm i have a pearl what's this one steel shimmer hmm that might be kind of dark what's this one i didn't fill that one okay um pearlescence and a copper. How about a little tiny, tiny bit of copper? Maybe we'll just do this. Dots like that. We're just flicking it like this. There we go. And then I think the next step after this is going to be stamping quickly. All right, so let's dry the spots now. And you can hold it a certain way and get them to run if you want. It doesn't matter. The heat gun will move um, the stuff around, the liquid around on the page anyway. We'll just quickly dry it and yeah your paper will curl up a tiny tiny little bit okay so now we're going to use a stamp and wherever did i put my black ink because i know i had it out what did i do with it did i put it over here Yes, I did. Here it is. And I like this ink from Ranger. This is the archival ink. I like this one from Ranger. Um, it doesn't smudge too much, so. So I think I'll use this stamp. And I am just kind of randomly going to put some of this down in no particular order. I just like the look of script. I don't know why, I just do. It's just a thing I like. Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. You can kind of see, look at how cool that Prima paint is. It's very shiny. I love how that looks. And you can see the script on there. So what else do I want to do right now? Hmm, I think I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of this Delusions white on top. Like the same thing, just spots maybe. No, nope, that doesn't look too good. Hmm, let's try a little spray and see what happens. Shake. Get it running. So there we are. I'm going to dry that and then I think we might be ready for some die cutting. And we'll see what the flowers look like. See that didn't take long to do it all. Now this white is picking up some of the other colors underneath it. So it probably won't stay like a true white, but that's okay. To me there's no mistakes in mixed media. It is what it is. Things turn out the way they do for a reason. Let's dry that. Look how cool those drips are. Doesn't that look neat?
Okay. Now there is a little bit wet here, but I'm just going to kind of do this with my brush and just that way it'll dry faster. And it does lighten everything up a little tiny bit, but that's okay. There we are. Now you can do all kinds of things with this. You can get a marker and draw on it. Maybe we could do that. Let's see. What do we have here? Ooh, I have this. I love this pen. It's called an Elegant Writer. And um, it's actually water soluble too. So you could spray it, but I don't really want to. So let me see here. I'm just going to draw maybe around some of these circles. Maybe with like a little, I hope you can see little stitch line or something. And then maybe we'll do like an arrow and a couple of dots and an arrow, dot, 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 arrow, dot, dot. So there's all kinds of things you could do. You can see things in the background like I do. Mm, what else do I see here? There is a flower back there, but I don't want to draw that. So we'll just we'll just keep going with this. We'll do like a squiggly line and then some dots and a squiggly line. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Squiggly line, dots, squiggly line, dots. Maybe a dragonfly? Is that a dragonfly I see? Let's see. Again, this is going to be die cut out, so you probably won't even see this in the end. But you will get the black lines. <laughs> see? And I could write things like... Hope, dream, love, life, some hearts. It's a problem with being left handed. Right? You stick your hand in things. Let's do a few little hearts. And now this would also be great for like the cover of a journal. Anything really. So there's what I have. And that's it. Now, because this is a bit water soluble, I could spray it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to heat set that quickly. And then we are ready to die cut some flowers, which I'm very excited about. I'll just heat set that marker because that just keeps it on there. So now I'm going to take these and I got these, I believe on Blitzy. I also have these little dots, they're gold. So I might use those for like the flower centers. So I pulled those out too. Let's see what we got here. Delightfully thin dies. Now my die cutting machine is behind me. So I'm gonna have to turn around to die cut them but you'll see them immediately after. So, Ooh, you can see when I die cut these, they're all going to come out. Make sure that you put them down the right way, Kim. They're going to come out like in different sections, right? So you're not going to see a whole word or anything like that. It's just going to be totally random and different. Like, look, I could put that little heart in that leaf there. Maybe this one too. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so let me 
just run that through my die cutting machine, which is right behind me. And you know what? This is a good reminder for all of us who, uh, you know, do a lot of fabric projects. Use your die cutting machine because mine has been sitting here for ages, you know, being lonely. And, uh, you know, it's good to use it once in a while because it is a good machine. And it, you know, I mean, when these first came out, they were really super expensive. Let's see if that moves or not. All right, let's give this a shot and see what happens. There we go. Here we are. Let's see, let's see, let's see what they look like. Ooh, it's going to be pretty. Can I get this off of here? Here's my little pick. Pokey tool. Check it out. Isn't that nice? Love it. And we're not finished with it yet. So you do have all these little pieces too that you'll have to poke out later. If you don't have one of these pokey tools, I would recommend getting it because it's handy for very, very many things in the craft room. So let's do this one now. right there and you want to poke out all these bits see it how it just only got part of the word life there so cool look at oh no did I forget all this way through to not turn off my Oh no, it is off. Yay! I thought I didn't have my autofocus off. Look at, isn't that cute? Put that back up there. And then this one here. Dies like this you need a little pokey tool for because they really get stuck in there. See that tore drat, but that's okay. And then you want to poke out all the little things. That didn't really cut all the way through. There we go. Okay. Poke these out. This might be a bit of a long tutorial, guys. <laughs> Mixed media usually is, though. Let me just get that little... Yeah, there we go. Is that everything? Oops. And of course, I'm going to cut more of them out, but look at what we have so far. And now if I put, like, a black... Ooh, that would look so cool. Let's do that on here. If I put black behind it, look how great that looks. Right? That would look so pretty to have black behind it. I do have black cardstock, but I also have that other cardstock. Oh, and the watercolor paper. Ooh, let's try a piece of that. Let's see, what color would we like? Purple? 
Look how pretty. No, I think I want something a bit darker. Darker, darker, darker. Blue. Green. Orange. Dark pink. Let's try the green. No. I always go for my favorite color. See? I like that. Yep, that's what we'll do. So if you just put that behind it, or you could die cut these um, like a couple times and layer them up, that would be cute too if you did like two or three here on that one. That'd be nice. So let's put um, that one together actually. I'm going to cut another one of those. And let's take this piece of paper out first of all too because I am going to use that. And maybe we'll just fold that and make that into a nice little note card too. So let me cut another one of the single flowers here. Let's move that out of the way. I will clean that in a while. See, I always take out too many supplies that I don't end up using. <laughs> Which is why, you know, uh, my desk is usually a disaster. But I'm trying to keep it clean this year. So let me just die cut two more of these single flowers. Um, let's do that. Let me set up my machine here again. Okay. Put that down. Cutting, 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 cutting. Cutting. There's one. Maybe two will be okay. What do you think? Will two be okay? That didn't really cut out, did it? Yes, it did. It's okay if it doesn't, because it just gives you a bit more dimension, doesn't it? See, that didn't really come out too well. But that's okay, because maybe we'll just do this. Right? Let's do that. See? No mistakes. That's good for a reason. Okay. Now, let's use some glue. Where is my glue? Actually, let's use this. Why not? This is a UHU stick, and I think that might be the best one for this job, actually not wet just a glue stick so we will glue this down let's glue it on here first and then I'll cut it out see that's so pretty let's do all of these actually this is probably the easiest way to do it, guys, with a glue stick. I mean, you could use wet glue. Do not use hot glue on this because it'll just make it all bumpy and lumpy. You probably won't like that. There's glue on my mat there. Let's get some of that up. That's working good, though. Using the glue stick. Yep, see, it's gluing to me. I'm sorry, I'm out of shot. And now I have the last piece here, which I'm just going to put some glue on. And then we're going to put it on top of this one, but I'm going to slightly offset it a bit so it makes the flower look a bit more dimensional. Okay. Um, of course I cannot find my little scissors. Of course not. So let's just cut this one out. 
Look at everything stuck now. Just gonna cut that out. And you know what? You could make it even bigger around that. That I'm gonna do. And we're gonna use the elegant writer again, I think, too. Yeah, ideas, ideas. They kind of flow when I'm working with mixed media stuff. See? Pretty, right? So let's do the next one. Make sure that's glued down. And I am going to cut it a little bigger than um, the actual flower. And I will show you why in a second. We're going to do some squiggly lines. If you don't have this die from Prima, I did get that die from Blitzy, by the way, but if you don't have this die from Prima, you could use any die. You could use, I've got like the Eiffel Tower, I've got Angel Wings, any die will you could do this with. It does not have to be flowers. The same premise will work. Just make your own paper and it's nice and pretty and colorful. And you get to use your papers up and your your mixed media supplies in your craft room. Isn't that cute? Um, your stamps, things you don't use too, too often maybe. You know, especially if you use a lot of lace and um, or a lace person sometimes it's just fun to get your hands dirty you know just like we did in school it's fun to have you know paint and have stuff out some days and I have a lot of it I used to do a lot more mixed media you'll see on my channel there's a lot of um, mixed media videos and canvases and things like that and I guess I've gone you know in a little different direction lately in the last year or so but I really do love doing this kind of thing it's fun oh I like that that's cute okay so right so I think what I'll do now is move that first of all maybe I will zoom in a tiny tiny bit Let's move all this out of the way. I'm going to get my pen again. And let's zoom in a little, little bit. There. So this is what we have. And I'm just going to take my pen here. Make sure it's glued down. This one, I just want the edges to come up on that top layer a bit. That way it looks a little more dimensional. And we'll just kind of bend them slightly. There, see? That looks so pretty. Now, I'm just going to kind of do a little squiggle around the edges. Not a continuous squiggle, but just to get a little bit more black on here. And then maybe in here as well, do a few dots, a few dots in the middle. And maybe we'll draw a little heart in here. And then this one as well. That kind of looks like it's a little heart right there, so maybe I'll draw it right there. Some dots in the middle. A few dots here. Go around the edges a little bit. The little squiggly line. Again, does not have to be perfect. But I think that the black just kind of brings the edges out a little bit. 
Oops. You'll get off of there. More dots. And then this one, I think we'll maybe just do some dots. of like that one so you can see and now I'm gonna take these dots and these are by who studio calico American crafts and I believe this was a blitzy purchase oh so long ago as well but I think the gold would be pretty in the center right Yes, that looks so cute. I know it covers up some of my dots, but we know they're there, right? Yep, I love those. Okay. Let's do a little one in that one. Maybe a littler one in this one. So there we are, guys. Mixed media paper flowers that you can now add to a card. Um, so all you would have to do, let me get a piece of paper here. This is six by six paper, so maybe we'll do the purple. That didn't rip very good. We'll just eyeball that. This is not how I normally make a card. I'm just doing it to show you. <laughs> We're going to trim that, make that neater. Oops. Right, and then you could just put a little band across the bottom with a sentiment that says thank you or something. You know, you could just stamp or hello or whatever in a contrasting color like maybe I would do the blue like that maybe and then you have a little card easy simple fun to do and you get to play with all your mixed media supplies so that's my little tutorial for today but I am coming back this week with another tutorial about um, my cans that I have over here that I store my glue in if I can get this out of here now that I have so much junk on my desk. These guys, I will be doing a tutorial this week for these. And I keep my glue in there. So that's what that looks like. So I am going to come back and show you how I made these. I have a couple here. And so stay tuned for that later in the week. And I hope you liked this tutorial. Get out your supplies. It's Sunday. Have fun. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.